Hi, it's Kristen from Miss Chris. You might know me from my YouTube channel, but today I'm here with Good Housekeeping TV, teaching you an amazing class on how to upgrade your jeans five different ways. So stay tuned, it's gonna be ultra fabulous. In this class, you'll learn how to make bleached ombre jeans, zipper tuxedo jeans, embellished cuff jeans, patchwork jeans, and you'll easily learn how to distress a pair of jeans. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a bucket that you will fill with water. You will need bleach. Obviously, you'll need your pair of jeans. You'll need some rubber gloves and just in case, some paper towels. Now remember when you're doing this project to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and also be sure that you are working on a surface that if something happens, you won't mind if it gets a little bleachy. First step before you get started is to protect the manicure and put on some gloves, okay? Okay, now before we get started, it really helps the process if you go ahead and get your jeans a little damp. So we're just gonna go ahead and put them in our water. And then just squeeze them out a little bit. This really just helps for the bleach to take to the jeans. Yeah, there you go, see? Just a little damp. Now, now we're gonna make our bleach mixture, okay? So we're gonna start, it's a 50-50 mixture. So we're gonna start with, I have about two, two and a half inches of water in here. Now we are going to get to the fun. I feel like a scientist. We are going to take our bleach and pour the same amount into our bucket here, yeah? There we go. Now, we're gonna take our jeans that we've already pre-dampened, and we're going to soak them all the way in. Just dump them in there as far up as you would like for your jeans to bleach. And we're gonna ombre. So basically, the process for this is we'll dump them in and we'll leave them, let them sit for a little bit, we'll take them out, and then we'll put even less amount of fabric in and let them sit for even longer so that the, it really has a nice chance to ombre. So we've let these sit for about five minutes and we are going to take them out. Can you see? Look at that nice ombre we have going on. We're gonna put the tippy top in just like the waistband, I would say, and we're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. So now these are the ones that have been sitting for 30 minutes at the top. You see, we get this nice ombre effect and I really love it, especially that like fadedness of the jeans. I just think it's really cool. So I'm gonna let these dry, preferably overnight, and then give it a nice rinse, hand rinse, and um, yeah, then you should be good to go. I think these jeans look awesome, but I think they're gonna look even more awesome on my friend and model for the day, Erin from Good Housekeeping TV. And modeling the bleached ombre jeans today, we have Erin from Good Housekeeping TV. Now, as you can notice, she has a skinny <laughs> jean that ombres all the way to the top that she's paired with a white shirt and fabulous nude heels. Erin, take a walk down the runway for us. Yes, fabulous, good job. Distressing jeans is probably one of the easiest way to quickly change up the look of your jeans and it's really simple. For this project, you're going to need obviously a pair of jeans, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife, a marker, and some sandpaper. So let's get started. The first step of this process is to mark on your jeans physically where you want your cuts for your de-stress. So I'm gonna need my model friend, Erin, again to come help me out with that. Hello. Hello. Okay, so tell me where do you want your jeans to be distressed? Maybe something here? Maybe something there, right there, yeah. Maybe something down this Maybe way? Maybe something down here. Where would you suggest? Anywhere I else? think that's good. Maybe let's go ahead and do a little knee action down Ooh. here. Let's do a little knee action <gasps> like that, huh? Ooh la la, I like that. All right, well, oh, and then let's also, I just like a little something right there. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So give me these and let me get to work. Great. Erin, I need those jeans. Thank you. All right, so let's take a look at our handiwork here. We've marked up our jeans exactly where we want them to be. So let's just start right here. And I'm just gonna sort of take my X-Acto knife and very carefully just go ahead and puncture the 
dinner like that. Just have to sort of be careful. There we go. Okay, so we have Okay, see, and it's already starting to look a little distressed. Okay, so now we're gonna take our sandpaper and we're just gonna get to work and really just go through there and sort of give it nice. And you'll notice it'll start to fray and really look like, you know, she's had these for years. And that's the whole thing. Like, people like distressed jeans because they like them to look comfortable and lived in and, you know, we're just sort of helping along the aging process. <laughs> it's also great too that like we've cut these here and we've sort of made the slit. But if you also, on places where you haven't cut and you want to distress them along the sides, that's fun too. It just sort of takes up the color on your jeans and just makes them look really old and loved. So we'll do some of that action up here too. Really get them going. Now, here's a, a cheat sheet. If you don't have sandpaper and you're really trying to do this in a hurry, maybe you've like cut off your legs and you want to make shorts really fast, you can just take them outside and do it on the concrete and it works just the same. Okay, just like really getting in there, right? And like, you know, this is the best if you're stressed. Let's say you're mad at somebody, you know, you can just take these jeans and just really rip them up and take out all your frustration. Honey, let me tell you, it's cheaper than therapy, okay? And you get a nice pair of jeans at the end of the day. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of give it a little distressing down here just because we want the whole jean to sort of look like it's been lived in a little bit, so... Yeah, these look old. So when you're making your slits, just remember we made this one um, horizontally, but if you want to make a vertical slit, you can as well. I mean, it's kind of up to you. Now this slit right here, I made smaller. So it's just like a little, I call this just like a little accent, right? So we'll just give that a little, a little bit. It's actually so tiny. I'm going to make another tiny one and maybe we'll make just like a cluster of tiny. She didn't request a hole there, but she's getting one. Okay, we'll do like one more maybe over here. Nice. The, the odd number factor here. Okay, look at that. Put a little bit on the zipper area there. Just really like beat them up a little bit. Okay, so we have one more slit that we'll make right here. Then this will sort of be our last situation. Now, you know, distressed jeans from a fancy designer can run you anywhere from like $200, $300. And look at what we've done here for the cost of sandpaper, really. We've created our own. Oh, there you go. Just sort of work our way down here. Yeah. All right, I think that's about ready. I think it's time for a little bit of a fashion show to see what these look like. And now modeling our latest pair of distressed designer jeans. We have Erin from Good Housekeeping TV as she works the distressed in white boyfriend t-shirt and black heels with diamond accoutrements. Please. I 
love this. Me. I love this look. Okay, cool. so now that you have them on, if you decide that you want a little bit of extra distressing, just take your sand oh, paper thanks. and distress the wet. Cool, just anywhere? Any, I mean, anywhere you see, like, yeah, that's somewhere, okay, yeah. <laughs> anywhere you see that you wanna just, like, add a little bit, you know? Cool, there you go. But I think these look ultra fab on you. They look like I've had them for a million years and they're comfy, too. Yeah, worn in and loved in yes, under, under 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, time for another pair of jeans. Now for this project, we're going to patchwork our jeans as a way to add a little bit of color and texture to a boring old pair of jeans. Now normally, people use the patchwork to sort of cover up a hole, but this time we're gonna use it in a way so that we're really making it known that we're using these to create a little piece of artwork on our jeans. Okay, so for this project, what you're gonna need pair of jeans, obviously. You're gonna need these iron-on patches, denim patches. You can pick them up at your local craft store. Um, and I would actually get a variety of different colors. So as you can see, like our jeans are one shade of denim and I've gotten about three other um, colors of denim just to sort of really make them pop. You'll need an iron, obviously, and scissors. Okay, so first you sort of want to lay out your jeans and sort of decide where you want to put your patches. I think I want to do a collection of patches right here, sort of around the knee, thigh area, and then we'll do a collection like over here at the upper thigh. First, we're going to start by taking some of the patches, and as you can see, they, they come very clean, right? A nice like rounded edge, but clean is so overrated. So we want to take the jeans and just sort of make them square. Like we're doing patchwork quilt or something. Like that, right? And the great thing about it is then we can sort of layer them the way we want them to go. So how this patchwork works essentially is there's the side that's denim and then this is the back side and you can tell it sort of has like a sticky adhesive so we just want to make sure that when we place it down we're placing it down with the glue side facing our jeans and then you can cut them in really whatever size you want right so then you can just layer it here what do you think? I think maybe we need another pair. I mean, another, let's do maybe something up here, right? Let's do another little square. This is my favorite slash least favorite part of crafting is the laying out and sort of making up your own pattern because I'm, I know what I like, but then I don't know what I like and I can be very indecisive sometimes. So. I think that looks good for now. All right, so now that we sort of have our patches where we want them, it's really easy. We're just gonna take our iron and just sort of place it over it and let it get hot and, and adhere to our jeans. It shouldn't take long, really, depending upon how hot your iron is. Yeah, you can already tell they're really starting to stick. Yeah, and then you can just sort of check to see like if they, yeah, I think this big guy needs a little bit more time, so. <sighs> Okay, great. So we'll just sort of let these set here and cool, and then we can do another design um, right here sort of in the knee area. So let's start with this piece, the lighter piece, and just cut it so that it's got the square sides. 
And I'm very just, I sort of cut at random, no real way. And let's do maybe a bigger square for this one. Hmm. What do you think? That might be too big. So let's cut it in half. Again, see? Indecisiveness. I'll put that here. No, maybe we'll put it here. I'm telling you guys, the hardest part for me. And you just sort of like layer them on top of each other. That really gives that nice like patchwork, fun sort of artistic look to it. Yeah, I think I have a little bit more left of this lighter color. Let's do a little bit, let's do like a skinny strip or something. If you wanted to, I mean, you could really do like heart shaped and just put them like right over the knee. That'd be a really cute idea. Um, or these come in so many different textures. You can get them in leather or you get them in like a colored corduroy and really just go to town and make them fun and interesting. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. And let's just let the glue do its work. Now for a little added bonus, we are going to flip these around and do a little magic back here on the, on the back pocket area, just for fun. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna put darker, skinnier, slither maybe, up here. Okay, let's just give this a go and see. Okay, so there we have it, a little patchwork detail on the back. And of course, we have our patchwork detail on the front here. And now I think it's time for a fashion show. And modeling our latest in fine denim wear, the patchwork. We have Erin from Good Housekeeping TV. <laughs> I love this. I feel like it's like a mall fashion show, you know? <laughs> And Erin has on the patchwork denim that she has paired with a nice neon heel for a pop of color. I just love this look and I think it's a really fun way to dress up a pair of jeans and to make them unique and interesting. Thank you, Erin. This denim project has got to be my favorite project. I think I've probably already said that before, but I really love this because we are going to make a pair of denim tuxedo zipper pants. So it's perfect for if you're going to a wedding or anything fancy, really. Just kidding. So for this project, you're gonna need, obviously, a pair of jeans. You are going to need zippers that are the length of the side of your leg, and we'll get there in a moment. You're going to need two zipper ends. You are going to need scissors and no sew glue. Let's get started. First, you're gonna start by taking your jeans and folding them so that we have an exposed side seam. We wanna expose this part because this is where we're gonna put our zipper to make it tuxedo. Now, you're going to need to find zippers that are, like I said, the length of your leg, the length of your jean. This can be difficult to do because they don't always sell them in the right size. You have to take out the tape measure and like really measure your size. Um, and zippers come standard in different sizes that might not be the right length of your leg, 
but if you go to a craft store that sells zippers on a spool, then you can take it and the nice craft ladies will cut the exact measurement you need. So this, I believe, is somewhere around 37 inches. And it might be a little longer, but basically what we're gonna do is place it right there below the belt. And it'll go all the way down. Oh, look at that, perfect. All the way down to the end of our jean. Now in order to get it to stick there, I'm just gonna use a little no-sew glue and make a nice line right there on our seam. It's easier if it's straighter. There we are. And here we go. Nice healthy amount of glue sort of on the entire side of this, on either side of the seam. And then we're gonna go ahead and just sort of start the process with our zipper. Just really making sure everything is nice and flat and glued down tight. And we'll just keep doing this process all the way down the seam of our jean. Facing it down, making sure everything's flat. going. I love this look. It looks really high end and fashionable and also unexpected, you know? Zipper for tuxedo stripe. It's unique. So we'll just keep going with our healthy amount of glue all the way down towards the end of our jean. Put a little bit here. So don't add glue all the way to the end because we're not quite finished just yet. Before we finish off, what we're gonna wanna do is take our zipper end and just sort of slide it right on the end of the zipper there, okay? Make sure we get a nice healthy amount of glue right there at the end and then we're really just going to place it down there. Don't worry if you get a little glue, it'll dry clear, but you just want it to really be secure because that, my friend, is our fashionable detail of our jeans. And we'll let this dry and then we'll flip it over and do the same on the opposite side. So there we are, we flipped it over and we did the other side. Now for our perfect tuxedo zipper striped denim jeans. So cute, I think they're adorable, but of course we need to see them on. So you know what time it is, fashion show. Now presenting Erin in the latest tuxedo fashion. <laughs> we have a fabulous tuxedo denim with a nice zipper stripe. She has paired it with a silk striped shirt and fabulous and fancy tool bow shoes. She is ready for an evening out or for a wedding. Thank you so much. I love how long these make your legs look. Well, you don't really need any help in that department, but they do <laughs> definitely elongate the legs. And I really love um, the bold detail on the zipper because it makes them look really luxurious and really expensive. But we didn't buy, we DIY. Yay. Yes, okay. <laughs> these look fabulous. Thank you, Erin, for modeling the latest in tuxedo fashion. I love anything bejeweled, anything bedazzled, anything extra fancy, and I'm going to do that to this pair of boyfriend jeans. We are gonna make these cuffs really, really fancy because we all wanna be a little extra fabulous. For this project, we're going to need, obviously, our pair of jeans. You're going to need a really nice jeweled pair of trim. You're going to need fabric glue and scissors. Let's get started. So for this project, we're really just working with the bottom cuffs of our jeans and our trim. 
So you're going to start by really making sure that there's a nice cuff that you have going on, and you want it to be about the same width as your trim, right? So there, it all works. It's all good. So from here, we're just going to add a little bit of glue to our cuff. Really get in there good. Really make sure that your cuff is covered, and especially at the beginning where we're going to place our trim, we want to really make sure that that has a nice amount of glue there so that everything sort of stays in place. So there we are. Place that there. We'll sort of flip it over here and do the same on the back end, making sure that our sides are covered with glue and that there's just glue really everywhere. Nice amount of glue. Covering the entire cuff. There you are. And now we'll just place it there on the trim. Now the reason we do boyfriend jeans and not like skinny stretchy jeans is that um, when you put boyfriend jeans on, they're sort of structured and there's not really much movement when you slide your foot in and that's sort of what you need because you know there's not really much give in um, the embellishment. So here we are on this edge again and we just want to make sure that we sort of measure where our cuff needs to close and we give a nice little cut. I lost a few beads there, but that's okay because we're just going to use our glue to really make sure that everything is nice and secure. And it's great if your glue dries clear just to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the edge of your trim so that it looks all put together there. Like I said, it'll dry clear so we won't even know, but they'll all sort of be glue tight right there. So now we're just going to repeat this process on the other cuff. You got to give it the two hand application because you really want to make sure you have a lot of glue. There you go. Yeah. Now you're going to make sure that when you are cleaning these jeans, these are obviously um, either take them to the cleaners or you hand wash them. But I mean, how many times do you really wear your jeans before you wash them? Huh? How many times? All right, so we're just going to sort of seal these up here. Measure, we're going to want to cut about right there. And like I said, it's okay if you lose a couple of beads, you'll just give it a little bit of extra fabric glue on the jean and also on the actual trim itself and just really get in good in there and make sure that all is secure. Perfect. So if you're really concerned about them coming off, you might want to maybe just take a little a needle and thread and just add a little tack to each end. But other than that, they look super fantastic. Let them dry overnight, and then you're free to wear them. So now that we have these complete, I think you guys know exactly what time it is. It is time for a fashion show. Erin, come on with it. And modeling the latest in embellished denim fashion is Erin from Good Housekeeping TV. Look at these. Now you see for her, I chose a blue embellishment because, well, you saw it in the craft store and you were kind of obsessed over it, right? Okay, so these look really great, but it's the same process and they look just so luxurious and fabulous and so high fashion. You know what I think this means? We need a fan. We need to turn this into a fashion shoot, darling. Fan, yes, oh, fan, work, work the camera, work the camera, work the camera. 